Well, I'm here in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., for Speed by Land and by Sea. Now, check this out. My buddy Rick Nelson's got an AC-6 hovercraft that is absolutely slamming. Goes from land to water in a split second. He's the pilot. We're going to take that thing for a test drive. The AC-6 is much more fun than a jet ski in that you can have up to five of your friends on board with you and you can do virtually anything that you want to do. You're not limited by having water. You don't have to have water to get the water. You can unload in the parking lot, take it down the boat ramp, back up into the park lot, put it on the trailer and you're good to go. I think what you'll see today is a craft that is both versatile uh, as well as a lot, a lot of fun. And I think what you see is that it actually takes in all the different aspects of a possibly a, a helicopter as well as a motorboat and a jet ski and puts it all into one fun piece of equipment. Upon arrival, both Ricks wasted no time in getting me up to speed with the AC-6 by immediately taking me out for a quick spin in the water just to see what it was like floating on air. After my first run, Rick Nelson walked me through how the AC-6 worked. He broke it down in a full description of just what I was dealing with. Now Rick, at maximum RPM, what are you blowing out the back? About 100 miles an hour? Right at about 100 miles an hour. Sailboats do not like us when we're around. Or, or uh, women with long hair. Now the AC-6 is packed with dual engines for lift and thrust. Each engine has its own separate fuel tank and noise reduction package. But for me, the louder the better. So Rick, you ready to roll? Yes, we are. Let's do it. Let's go. I was amazed at the seamless transition from land to water. And as we started picking up some speed, I noticed how soft the ride was and how much less wave action you feel than riding in a boat. I could definitely feel the difference of floating on a cushion of air rather than crashing against the waves. Now in rescue situations, this vehicle is almost unbeatable. Now, if you're on ice, Let's say you've got an ice fisherman who's broken through or a snowmobile potentially that has broken through. This is the vehicle that is very, very well uh, adapted to that kind of rescue situation. Low profile, you can pull victims in real easily from the water. So it makes it, it, makes it an almost perfect vehicle for, for a lot of different situations. Like in the hurricane situation, you can actually get, if you've got small kids, you can get more than six. Yeah. The max weight, you don't want to exceed 1,500 pounds. Right, 1,500 top end. About a 900 pound weight of the vehicle. About 980 pounds. Yeah. I can't wait to drive this thing. What do you say? I'm all for it. All right, I'll jump in and see if I can drive it. Okay, lower the lamp. <laughs> now, driving this baby is more like a jet ski than a boat. Your weight shifts more during turns and since you're so close to the water and there's so little impact, it's like you're gliding along glass. And even though I'm usually trying to reach a vehicle's top speed, I couldn't help but just sit back and enjoy the ride. After I got through terrorizing many innocent bystanders along the Potomac, Rick took the reins to show me a few more things and cement my decision that this bad boy was coming home with me. Well, Rick, thanks for having me, man. You're welcome, Cameron. It's been a pleasure. Hey, man, anytime I can hang with a 20-year Marine, I'm doing good. As always, we're here for you. When we return, I'll have some fun with an underwater camera that's sure to be a hit at your next pool party, and then get in touch with my surroundings, visually that is. And finally, I'll satisfy my craving for speed with the fully customizable racing simulator that's proven to be the closest thing you can get to the track without ever leaving your living room. That's all coming next, right here on Gear. <laughs>